hip, hip, hooray for DNA. It provides the key to the plans for making everything in you and me. Welcome to one of the past HSC exam question videos. We're going to do in this video, we're going to cover this exam question, which comes from the chromosome and inheritance chapter of the Blueprint of Life module. While well, doing a second, I'll read the actual question. Once you've read the question, you get about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question, and then press play, play when you're ready again. The question itself is Sutton, Bavari, and Morgan worked in the field of genetics. Describe the contributions made by two of these scientists to the understanding of chromosomal nature of inheritance. And that's worth four marks. So when you're ready, press pause and attempt the question, and then press play when you're done. Welcome back. All right, so the question itself says we need to describe, there's a verb, the contribution made by two scientists, and the scientists can be Sutton, Bavaria, and Morgan. I'll cover, in this video, I'll cover Sutton and Morgan. I'll start with Morgan and I'll go for Sutton. i describe the actual experiment quickly, just in, in less than a sentence, and just explain how, or describe how that has led to the understanding or increased understanding of chromosomal nature of inheritance. So I wrote Morgan first. Morgan conducted an experiment on fruit flies and was the first person to show that the sex chromosomes carried genetic information. So that was actually his achievement. Six chromosomes actually carried genetic information. If you remember, the U.S. didn't believe these 22 other pairs of chromosomes, normal chromosomes were the important ones. We didn't really realize these sex chromosomes carried anything else but your sexual information, but here we've realized that they carry other things as well. And he also helped establish the, uh, so he helped establish the existence of sex-linked traits and diseases, such as, such as color blindness as an example. So his experiment was conducted on fruit flies, and he could have gone, if he had the time, he could have gone a tiny bit more into it, but that wasn't really the most important part. The most important part was what exactly did the experiment show, and it showed the whole the fact that there were these sex chromosomes, and they were linked to sex-linked traits and diseases. And that will get you two marks. And the other one I describe is Sutton. The Sutton observed grasshopper cells during meiosis. That was his observations or experiment. He did. He observed grasshopper cells during meiosis and made accurate sketches of his observations. So he looked them under the microscope and then he, he actually sketched the observations. And his work helped establish a link between Mendel's ideas of factors and chromosomes. So before then, we didn't really. Uh, Mendel talked about these factors, which we always nowadays know are genes, and we didn't really know where they were in, in the body. We didn't know what these factors were, but Sutton helped establish a link and said these factors were on these chromosomes. And nowadays, we know that the chromosomes basically carry all of these genes. So he helped establish a link between factors and chromosomes, and also his so he also observed the segregation and random assortment of chromosomes in the gamma formation. So with his observations of the grasshopper cells, he also saw that, and that's something really important when it comes to increasing variation. So these were the points about Sutton. He linked the factors to chromosomes, and he observed segregation and random assortment of, or independent, independent assortment, you can also call it, independent assortment of chromosomes in gamma formation. So that's four marks out of four, so that's a pretty easy four marks to get. You just need to know your scientists. And where did that question come from? It came from these two dot points. Describe the work of Morgan that led to the understanding of sex linkage. Again, describe the verb here, describe the verb here. So this is more or less the dot point itself. And then the other one was outline the roles of Sutton and Bavari in identifying the importance of chromosomes. Again, that's why we could be asked for Sutton, Bavari, and Morgan, because they were all not dot points. I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.